Hello everyone, I am Clay and welcome to my YouTube channel Chief Envisions. And for today's video, I'll be showing you how I turn this into this. So first of all, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a TikTok account and also a Facebook page. Now let's begin. So the model that I'll be using is from the 3D Warehouse. So credits to Arnold Ferreira for the subdivision residential unit design. So it looks like this. And I downloaded it in OpenEd using SketchUp and it looks like this one. Right? I removed the cars and also put some colors in the other units. So at this point, I already transferred the SketchUp file here in D5 Render. Now first, let us um, change the materials. So I'm dealing now with the gutter. So I'm choosing here in the in the upper left side, we have here the assets. So here in the material, I choose a metal one. Then for the roofing, I also choose a roof material that would be applicable. Then here in the right side, we also have here the stretch. So adjust this one and your preferred interval. Next one is I decided to change the gutter color. So I, I turned the metal into gray and also changed now the color of the wall. So I just uh, used the asset library here, the material, just... Uh, in order for me not to look one by one, I, I only search the keywords here in the search bar. So I put here white, concrete, and many more. So I choose a color that I think would fit the design of this subdivision. So I choose uh, white and gray color. And for the railings, I choose here uh, iron black or matte black for the metal part. So just this one. Now moving on to our to this part of the wall, so I choose a black color for this one. So I think that would be that uh, I think that it would fit the design of our subdivision. The next is let us try also to look for a material that above, that would be appropriate for our carport. So let's try to see. So this one looks good. Let's apply this one. Just click and then click the surface that you want to your material to be applied next in the natural raw material i choose a ground uh, ground texture that would be that would be nice so i think that this one here would be applicable so this will serve as our ground texture then i just manipulated here the stretch so that it would be appropriate to our design For now, I will settle to those materials and I will be moving here to the model and import different 3D objects so that the design will be much more realistic. So let's try here the hedge. So, so just click the object and then let's and then apply it to the part that you want it to be positioned. You can also uh, press V for you to have the rotate and the moving so that it can have a proper placement. You just need to just press V, letter V in your keyboard so that you can adjust the, the size and also have the arrows, the rotate, and many more. So you can just you just need to position it properly according to your will. Next is to duplicate the object. You just need to press your shift and then move the object so that it could have a duplicate duplicate copy. Then just apply this one. You can just uh, transfer it to all the parts of the units here in the subdivision next is still in the asset you just need to go to the nature and then you can see here palm then you can choose any palm tree that you want to apply to your object so you have a lots of options of what tree that trees that you want to apply to your model so in my case i just want this one to be placed here in the front and now that I'm done, I will just duplicate the object by clicking it and then holding my shift and then moving it to other parts that I want it to be positioned. To add more beauty, I also imported here some cars still in the asset library. So just choose uh, any car that you want. You can also choose a motorcycle, a bicycle, and many more. So in this case, I choose a motorcycle, but then I decided to put the car first in the each garage of the units here in the subdivision. So I choose a 
power design such as this one so click this one and as you click this or import this file you can see that the tires the, the tires are moving so just turn off the dynamic and also the driver so that it's not, it will not be visible just rotate using the uh, the v the control uh, the v shortcut key and then position it on the car garage so that it would fit properly so just use this move tool here okay, so the move tool will automatically uh, appear once you click the object and now to balance this sign we'll also put uh, car cars in the car garage of other units such as this one so just randomly pick uh, other car design or colors that you want here in the asset library. Next is I improve the road appearance in this design. So here in the asset library, you can see here the decals. Then you can see many, um, many printed objects or either paints that you can apply here in our designs. For example, is this one. You can have here a white center line and you can just move it or duplicate it so that it would appear that it is like a division of the two roads from both the left side and the right side then eventually i changed my mind and rather put a broken line in the center part of the road then we can also see here a crack so it just uh in the in the rendering part you can also include their imperfections because it will up make more the, the design more realistic if you have imperfections with your design so i put here some uh, um, road road problems here so we can also have some uh, marks some some dirts and many more so right here i'm almost done with the design but i just add some more assets to make it more uh, beautiful in the eyes eyes of the viewers so I put here some trees, some falling leaves, and also I put some furnitures in the uh, in the balcony of each unit. Right now I'm done with the objects and the materials that I'll be including in this design. So for now I will be adjusting the visual setting of this design. So in the right side you can see here the environment and effect. So you can just have an experiment of what you think will look like. So you can just adjust the temperature, the brightness. The ambience and many more so i'll be creating a separate video on how to uh, how to set this visual setting so that your render will appeal more interesting so this part here i just have an experiment i just made uh i just uh look at my taste if it's good already or it's not so i have a many trial and error when creating this one because this is the trickiest part i think for me the trickiest part when you render a an image here in D5 render or any rendering software. What I also like in this uh, rendering software is the precipitation that is located in the bottom part. So just click the precipitation and you can now have a wet road effect and even a snow effect in your design. So let's just, um, uh, let us just neglect the snow effect. So let's just have a wet pavement or wet road effect can just adjust it here the amount of water and also many um, setting that you can set so that it can be it can look more appealing so one technique in rendering an image or a video is to have a wet road effect so that it will appear more realistic you can also have a raindrops adjust the rain adjust the rain the amount of rain and many more so you can just control it using the precipitation here in the five render in the right side in the environment part Alright, so in this part, I already finalized the objects that I will be including in this subdivision design. So as you can see, I have here some uh, girls who are standing at the both sides. Then I also have some uh, trees, added added tree, some trees here. And then I also have cars. And later on, I also added some animals here such as dogs, uh, birds, and many more. So here in the right side, I also finalized my environment setting. So here, uh, you can just po pause and then just zoom so that you can be you can take note of this setting. So this is the outcome of this setting here in the environment. And next is in the effect. This also these are also the setting. So just pause in order for you to apply this to your design if it's applicable for you. 
Now, in the left side, I also have here the different um, scenes that I I created. So, I have I have here the front, also the top, and also the side below, and also different scenes that I've been including. And now, it's time to render our image. So, to render our image here in the upper right side, you can see here the image. I click that one. And then here, you can have the different uh, settings such as ratio preset size custom options and many more and if you are already satisfied with this one you can also you can now go here in the right side and click render and after clicking that you just put it in the desktop then let's uh, let's name it front view and save then you can see here that there will be appearing an image rendering is in process so it will calculate how much time or estimated time remaining and also here is the percentage so this uh, the rendering here will depend on the effects and also the objects that you included so like right here you can see here there are the, uh, at least uh, 45 seconds remaining for this image to be rendered all right so the total time here uh, it says that it's one minute and 22 seconds let's go to our desktop and let's check our image so here is our image so from this so from this sketch up file uh, we turn this image into this rendered image using d5 render apart from rendering an image i also utilize keyframe animation to create these scenes here in d5 render so if you want to know how i created this animated scene such as running car and walking dog so don't worry i will be uploading an uh, a tutorial in my next video and please don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next video.